welcome to Bad Food Blog. And today we're doing a bit of a strange one. I'm going to review Stag Chili Dynamite Chili Con Carne. This is supposed to be spicy. But I'm going to microwave some and I'm going to put some on bread and put some cheese on top. And then cook it in the oven. I do sometimes grill it, but I find putting it in the oven at around 200 degrees centigrade for 10 to 15 minutes just browns off the cheese and stops the bread from going that soggy. Or soggy er. Anyway, let's get on with it. So, one of the first things I'm going to do... Actually, I'm not going to butter the bread. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I think this is going to be quite watery, but I don't really mind because it's going in the oven. I would butter the bread if it was going in the grill. But the oven I don't really need to. So, let's start with it. Um, let's just start by letting it breathe for a little while and finding out what it smells like. Oh, chilli, and nice, and spicy, and wow, look at the thickness of that. That is one of the few things I open a tin, just just gone everywhere, I'm going to get in trouble. I can see some on the bag over there. Wow. And on this counter. Oh my god. You messed up. You messed up big. I better get that before anyone sees it. Yep. Oh, hand on cupboard front. I'm not going to show it on video because that'll be evidence that it happened. But yeah, opening that tin. The sauce is thick. It smells wonderful. Now, let's get on with it. The reason I'm doing this is, yeah, you can eat this in a microwave. You can eat it with a spoon, but that's not what people do with it. So one of the things I like to do with tin chili or chili in itself is this. Because chili is nice and thick and stacks well on bread that's going to go in the oven. And I sometimes view chili as as much of an ingredient. It's okay, it doesn't matter if a little bit goes over the edge there. No one's going to mind. You can do that. And a whole tin relatively easily does this. You see that? There's about enough there for three slices of bread, but I only want two. So the rest, I'm going to put in a bowl, put in a microwave, and I'm going to do a bit of a taste test. As you can understand, this is me preparing a meal. Now this is a bad meal, made with bad food, but I don't know that this chili is actually bad food. It's coming out of a tin. It is one of your five a day. There is a lot of beans, a lot of vegetables, a lot of tomatoes, red peppers, and other stuff in there. So, you know, whereas you might think everything in a tin is bad for you, peaches comes in tins, Tomatoes come in tins. It's not necessarily that something in a tin is bad for you. What the reality here is, is that this food in a tin can be bad food. But I don't think, given the smell, and because with something like chili, you can tell what it's going to taste like before you taste it. You only have to smell it to know it's going to be good or not. And I know that sounds crazy, unless it's over salted or heavily under spiced. You can smell what a chili's going to do. More than enough cheese. Let's put this back in the fridge. So the idea with this is I'm making kind of a snack slash meal out of it rather than just eating the whole tin. Now, eating the whole tin is a reasonable number of calories, but I just don't think anyone ever just opens a tin of chili, pours it into a bowl and microwaves it. I see it as a, a shortcut ingredient for burritos. Now, this is like sliced bread enchiladas or something, basically what I'm making here, isn't it? Let's be honest like this. I'm putting cheese on top of it. I'm putting it in the oven, which is going to toast the bread, cook through the chili and brown off the cheese. Right? So I'm basically making like, you know, enchiladas of some description. And yeah, now this is bad for you, bad food. There's a lot of cheese there. That's gone way over the calorific content you should be having. But it's gonna taste wonderful. Because if it's made with even an average chili, like one when I make one myself, and my chilies probably taste better than this, it just ups the flavor game, right? You go to a Taco Bell or somewhere like that and you have a bad chili, this makes it taste good. So, Let's pop this in the oven and see what it looks like afterwards. 
often asked, should you have the oven glove on when you put things in the oven? The answer is probably yes, because I burn myself frequently just touching that. So, let's carry on. I've microwaved some of it, and let's do a review of just the chili on its own. It is supposed to be hot. It is, I've washed the tin, sorry. It is reasonably healthy for you. On the Hobbit once, heating through gently for three minutes. Once four minutes in the microwave. I'm sorry, but four minutes in the microwave, all these little beans are going to have exploded. This little quarter of a can got one minute in the microwave and has been sat here cooling for about a minute. Look at the color. Absolutely fantastic. Mmm. Wow. Whoa. Okay. Spicy. When they said dynamite, they were not kidding. Oh my god. Now adding the bread and the cheese is going to lower that a little bit, but... Wow, there's chunks of potato. There's very little meat, but then a chili isn't about a lot of meat. A chili is about a lot of flavor. And this packs a lot of flavor. It's packing both a lot of flavor and a lot of heat. If you're not new to spicy food, this is heartburn territory. A lot of beans, at least three different types I can taste. Mm -hmm. Some black eyed beans, some kidney beans. I'm seeing another small variety as well. So, water, beef, beans, kidney, and pinto. Ah, uh, pinto beans. Tomatoes, onion, red pepper. I mean, wow. <laughs> Look at this. This is genuinely the ingredients, right? There is not a single chemical on there. Well, there's two at the end there. Rapeseed oil and... Oh, no, garlic. That's not the chemical. Look at that for a set of ingredients. That is amazing water beef beef is 23 percent you can hardly taste it but it's definitely there wow kidney and pinto beans 22 percent that is a fun sorry not bad food there's no way with the taste of that i can call that bad food there is no way well stag your chili is amazing and let's see about my crappy enchiladas it makes but the moment I'm pretty impressed. Mmm. I could tell by the flavour that that was actually half decent. Who knew that something sitting on the shelves of the supermarket for under two pounds would actually come would actually be of this standard. Both shocked and amazed. Shocked and amazed. Absolutely fantastic. Well, I'm going to finish off eating the rest of that, and I will start the video up again when my, uh, how would you say this, sliced bread enchiladas are ready. <laughs> it's ready! Oh, look at that. Oh, you can't see it yet. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Go by the smell of the bread and the smell of the cheese. Yummy, 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 yummy. See, look at this. The bread is nice and toasted. On top there, it's just turning crispy, not overcooked. Mm -mm -mm. Now that, see oven temperature, 200 degrees centigrade. And it just turns the toast and sort of like just crispy, but still moist. No need for any margarine or butter or anything else. And oh, the smell is amazing. Good chili, some freshly ground black pepper, cheese, and bread, and that's all. Now to turn that tin of actually not bad food into something pretty amazing. Let's have a close up. I'm not gonna. Well, that's way too close there. Let's go back a bit. That's better. How does that look? Well, the white balance has really gone off, so uh, I guess it looks really odd. Yeah, look, <laughs> the white balance goes. Uh, uh. Anyway, 
So it tastes really wonderful. It looks a lot better than that. Sorry, the white balance is off. I will fix that in post to make it look uh, more realistic. The plate is obviously white and not some horrible blue color. So you won't notice that though. But yeah, this has been Bad Food Blog. This has been Stag Chili Dynamite Chili Con Carne. And I've got to say, fantastic. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to go off and eat this now. I've already done a taste test of the chili. This is just going to be crispy bread and cheese with that wonderful chili. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.